welcome back guys well uh, we have done the last tutorial on interfaces right yeah so this tutorial is going to be about abstraction abstraction is I mean I like to think of abstraction as a hybrid version of interfaces so well I know it sounds a bit weird but well it is weird really but it is helpful in some cases as well especially while creating APIs so yeah so I'm just going to say abstraction Direction tutorial. I'm just going to create a class in here. I'm just going to close all of these classes. I'm going to create a class in here called shape. Okay, so well, you, you can think of abstraction. I mean, an abstract class can have attributes. It can have methods. It can have implemented methods and unimplemented methods. And well, yeah, that's it. While in interface, you can only have unimplemented methods, and in inheritance, you can have attributes and implemented methods only. So, well, yeah. This is a story of abstraction, which is a hybrid version. It's, 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 like, a, it's like a kid of inheritance and interface. But, yeah. So, well, to make an abstract class, you know, the drill is public abstract shape, and... Uh, And in this, you have abstract methods. However, uh, okay, if you th okay, think about a shape. What does a shape have? Color. Okay, so color. Uh, I'm just gonna say uh, string color name. Okay, well, shape has number of uh, uh, points. Uh, no, number of v vertices. Yeah. So int vertices equals okay. What else does a shape have? What? Oh man. Okay, what else does a shape have? Uh, well, mm, well, it, it has a method which can help you draw. Okay, so public uh, draw uh, void draw. Well, at this point, do I know what draw is? Well, no, not really. So I'm just gonna say public abstract. Void draw. So I'm just going to mark this method as abstract. So if I mark a method as abstract, I don't have to provide implementation for it. So that would by default make the method to be you know, like an interface. It's going to behave like an interface. So the class that would, would take this shape would have to provide an implementation for draw. Okay, what else? Okay, sh uh, public public abstract change color c name no okay uh, let's uh, okay and, and I'm just gonna have some sort of uh, getters and setters for this so I'm just gonna say refactor and encapsulate fields I'm just gonna create what come on boy vertices and set vertices refactor and now I have the methods get color name set color name get vertices set vertices right oh, yeah that's that's good isn't it okay so now we have created an abstract class with two attributes color name and vertices one abstract method called draw and uh, four of the four implemented methods get color name set color name get vertices set vertices so now I'm going to have another class that would um, uh, that would take the shape class. So I'm just going to have circle and uh, uh, extend shape. And now, as you see here, this behaves like an interface again. Implement all abstract methods. Well, come on. Okay. Yep. So I have to implement the draw. Okay. So I'm just going to have a I'm not, I'm not gonna uh, mess around with the uh, thing. Uh, circle has been drawn. And I'm just gonna have, uh, you know, uh, uh, 
sort of thing like circle public circle c equals new oh man I'm going out of my mind oh god okay circle and the creating so okay circle has been created and before this what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have super dot uh, set color name okay uh, C name I'm going to have a C name here I'm just going to explain you about this in a minute circle letter vertex so zero okay so what so what we are doing here is I'm just, gonna, I'm just creating a class constructor called circle which takes a color name as a, as an argument and what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm, I'm assigning the uh, um, to the superclass, which is shape. I'm assigning it the parameters called. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm accessing its methods, set color name, and I'm, I'm setting its color name to the provided color name. And in the vertices, I'm again doing the same thing. Uh, the super, this, the keyword super means the superclass, this shape, and dot set vertices. Now shape has set vertices method so uh, I'm just I'm just accessing that method for, through this you cannot uh, well as you know you can only access the super class from the class itself not from an external class so well yeah that's it and well yeah so uh, if you I'm just gonna create another class creator and this is going to create uh, the classes public static void main. So in this creator class, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to create an instance of circle, and I'm going to create uh, and I'm going to create a circle, and, gonna, and then I'm going to draw it. So I'm just going to say that circle c equals new circle. And oh sure, I need to write, okay red. And I'm going to say uh, c dot draw. Okay. Now, again, one well, now uh, I can also shape shape s equals new. And I can say s dot draw. Now, if I run this, let's see what happens. Circle has been created. Circle has been drawn. Circle has been created. Circle has been drawn. Here I've said circle C equals new circle. If you look at the circle class, there is no method called set color name set vertices, is there? Even though I can, uh, I can set its color to red and I can set its vertices as to zero. Again, I, I can access the draw method, which has been overridden by the circle class. Now, again, the beauty is, I can, I can. The shape behaves as an interface here. Shape s equals, and and I'm and I'm assigning a new circle object of color green to it, and then I'm saying s dot draw. Now, if you see the shape class, there is no implementation of draw. It's an abstract method, but the Java compiler look looks at this, and then it says, hmm, it's an abstract method draw. Let me see what object has been passed. Circle. Okay, circle object has been passed, and it looks into the circle class, looks into this, and it says, oh gosh, there is a method. And it has been implemented, and then is going to execute this line of code in here, and that's why you have this in here. Okay, so I hope that was uh, easy. And uh, well, that's that's what abstraction is. Abstraction is well works like this. And generally, when I create APIs, I make the API abstract, and well, I force the the user of the API to make an anonymous instance like this s shape s equals uh, okay another another important point to cover you know, uh, when you have an interface called shape you cannot create an instance of it like an like an uh, interface you know? so, you can, uh, so you can't sh say shape h equals new shape no it's not going to work because shape is not an, a, a class it's an, it's an abstract class and it has unimplemented methods you can also have a circle class and then you can keep this method unimplemented again but well 
there's no point for that, is there? But uh, until and unless you implement all of the abstract methods, uh, you can you can't create uh, instances. So to create an instance, the class must implement all of the abstract methods. So well, yeah. And uh, another thing, uh, yeah. So when I create APIs, what I do is I leave out the methods that require that are like action, that are like events. Uh, to the hands of the user, so I mark them as abstract, and uh, the user has to decide what to do when that event is triggered, and he ha and the user has to create a class that implements the API, and then implements all of the event methods that the API uh, is going to use. So if my API has a touch method, and well, and what, and the API has to be general, so I don't know what to do with the touch method. So since I don't know what to do, and since it is up to the user to decide what to do with the touch method, I mark the touch method as abstract. So when the user gets the API, uh, he has to ex extend the API. He has to class. He, had, he has to create a class that extends the API, and he has to provide implementation for all of those methods that are marked as abstract inside my API. Uh, 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 like for example, the touch method is uh, is abstract. So uh, the so for the touch method, the user has to provide something that would, you know, that would help, um, that would get get executed when the touch method is called inside the API. So well, that's how that's how the abstract classes are applied in in uh, in like in like what you call real life. So uh, next tutorial is going to be more about uh, a lot of things. So I'm not sure what what the next tutorial is going to be since as you know this is not pre-planned or something and it's not like a stuff so uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be posting next tutorial soon so till then I'll see you guys later bye bye and have a great one